we are entering into the new era of the knowledge society, but the knowledge society has a very deep paradox. Knowledge society is not the society in which knowledge has value. This is misunderstanding. Knowledge society is a society in which knowledge is, will lose its value. That's because, uh, so, uh, 10 years ago, if you have a very uh, many knowledge in your brain, you, may, you, maybe you can be called of a very talented people or talented person. But nowadays, we can very easily access the uh, hand, yeah, a cellular phone or a, a personal computer. We can access almost of all knowledge on, on, on this planet. So this is a reality. So knowledge sharing uh, were ultimately achieved. So what's next? So the important thing is not knowledge, but wisdom, which cannot be described in a text. How to create the uh, collective intelligence? This is very important from now. In other words, as you know, Web 2.0 revolution create a new word, uh, wisdom of crowds. Wisdom of crowds means uh, if you ask some community uh, one question, the community people uh, yeah, discuss and uh, finally uh, create the one idea. It's sometimes uh, yeah, found to be a better idea than one expert. This, can, this is happening nowadays. In old age, uh, we believe innovation is achieved by only one talented people or a genius. Or a, so this is an old-fashioned understanding. Of course, from now, of course, uh, even from now, uh, many talent and uh, talented people or genius will create the good technology or many other good things. I believe so. But addition to this, we need to consider how to stimulate the communities, uh, people's wisdom, and create the wisdom of crowds. In other words, collective intelligence. Internet and the web technology is a very good tool to collect the people's wisdom, people's mind, and create a new idea. My answer is uh, very drastic and uh, we cannot manage the culture. So it's a deeply uh, problem of ego management. Elder people is always thinking, oh, well, I have been experienced many things, uh, you are <laughs> mature and not mature, so uh, you should listen to me, or so those mentality. It's a, sometimes true, such that's correct, but sometimes it's an ego problem. And on the other hand, young people are feeling and everything changing, and uh, they create the new culture. Ego management is very difficult. So answer is to change the company itself into business ecosystems. If you go to Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley is a very nice place. Many entrepreneurs, many venture business, many new technologies are created in that area. What's the reason? Why? So, the answer is business ecosystems. It's a kind of ecosystems, and uh, many people can behave very freely. If someone go to some company, they oh, freely change a job, and uh, uh, so company A can very uh, easily uh, change the alliance partner. So those kind of uh, ecosystem is very important. So we should, yeah, introduce the uh, company not the hierarchy type company, it's a kind of ecosystem type company. So it's a flat organization and the open organization. In old age, 10 years ago, intranet was a key word. But nowadays, companies, corporate SNS is a new keyword. It will change very naturally without forcing, without uh, uh, very uh, big power we can naturally change the culture of the company. So that's my uh, recommendation to the many companies. Why don't you introduce the SNS or blog 
in this company. Capitalism will become a knowledge capitalism. Knowledge capitalism. So until now, capitalism means how to manage the money. But knowledge capital is a very special capital. It's a, a self-increasing capital. Money is a zero-sum game. If you take uh, half of my money, yeah, rest of them, yeah, remained in front of me. But knowledge is a, a plus sum game. I, if I share you knowledge and wisdom, I don't lose any knowledge of wisdom. We can increase that uh, important capital. So this is a totally different type of strategy. And uh, old-fashioned capitalism will be faced to some uh, war, big war, because they see only visible thing, money. But knowledge capital is an invisible value. The important thing is to see the invisible thing. So we need to have wisdom to see invisible thing. So capitalism will change drastically uh, through internet revolution, web 2.0. So that's a very good tool to handle, manage the knowledge capital.